Hi guys! Hey everyone! <laughs> so we want to talk to you about Lent because Lent is coming up pretty soon. Starts on Valentine's Day this year. What? I know, it's crazy. Um, and so we want to talk a little bit about how to make your Lent the best Lent that it can be because a lot of times we sometimes treat Lent like a second chance at our New Year's resolutions mm -hmm. and we try and do things like, you know, give up sweets to lose weight or stop drinking soda to lose weight or to appear a certain way. And that's really not what Lent is about. Like we don't want to just give up things that we're just going to go right back to once Easter hits. Uh, what we really want to do is take advantage of this liturgical season to participate in the practices of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving in order to see, you know, ask that question, how do I want my heart or my life to be different Easter Sunday? So these are things that really are going to be things that you really want to permanently root out or habits that you want to really do less of so you can have more time for your relationship with the Lord. Yeah, so there's a lot of different ways you can do that. For prayer, maybe adding in, there's so many different Lenten companions and journals and things that you can add in and spending a specific time maybe in your day and making that your Lenten time. Um, so that's for prayer. Um, what was the other one? Fasting. Mm, fasting. <laughs> wow. Okay. Pregnancy, Pregnancy brain. brain. Fasting. <laughs> um, something that I have done and a lot of other women have done, if you're a lady, is we give up makeup. And that kind of is something that... One, it resets in your brain, like I am beautiful the way God made me. And then two, you're not, you're giving up your makeup. And so you have money, which will flow into the last one, almsgiving. And so maybe you're giving that money that you typically spend on mon um, makeup. Wow. Mm. <laughs> on makeup for a certain kind of um, gift to something like a charitable, organization charitable organization or. Yeah. So those are really good. Also for you gentlemen, something that you can do in fasting, maybe you do too much, watch too much TV, or you play too many video games, or you um, use your bed a lot and you don't <laughs> thank God for your bed. Give up your bed, give up these things so that then it causes you to remind yourself every time you'd use that thing to pray or to dive into your let a little bit deeper. Exactly. So uh, this Lent is not a second chance at your New Year's resolution. It's really an opportunity for your heart to get renewed mm -hmm. and to root out those things that are maybe an obstacle for you in terms of time to spend with the Lord or actually seeing how the Lord is active in your life through yeah. service to other people or through how you're spending your time. And so really consider how God might be calling you to want to, to change, to uh, take a new direction so that when Easter Sunday comes around, you can look back and say, wow, look at where my heart is now. Look at what my habits and my priorities are. Uh, I'm a lot closer to the Lord than I was when I started. So think about those things that you want to root out and don't just do them for vain pursuits or because you want to look a certain way or because you want to add all these prayer practices so you look so awesome. Like do something that's really going to be feasible for you to do long term. If you want to start journaling, like act as though like Lent is going to be the beginning and that's going to continue for the rest of your life. Um, you know, prayerful habits, um, fasting habits so you know that it's not about the things that you consume but that you deny uh, yourself every day and earthly pleasures so you can be closer to the Lord and getting in a habit of service that's going to extend beyond Lent. And so we hope this Lent is a blessed one and that you give up what you're going to give up for the right reasons and add on what you're going to add on so you can, you can get closer to the Lord. Yay! Until the next time we do a vlog, we'll yes. see you in the Eucharist. Bye, you guys. Bye.